having like quality time today. <laughs> productive today. I went through all my emails. I went through most of my comments. I was able to respond back to you guys. Catching up now on my videos. Finally, I don't know. I've just been MIA on YouTube for the past, I want to say almost two weeks, but um, vlog number 142 should go up today. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Um, Drive Shop USA dropped off. This is the Hyundai, 2015 Hyundai Sonata Sport PZ EV. Like so far, the exterior, which looks really nice. I'm actually gonna prop you guys up there because I have not tested this car out yet. And I gotta adjust everything before I go. Set the radio stations because it just makes things so much easier. And something I wanted to point out, which you guys know I'm, I am a huge fan of, look at that. It says eco mode. I'm loving that already. Anything that saves gas, I'm a huge fan of. It's about one o'clock right now, and guess who I'm with? Here's my mom. Put your camera Oh no, my other camera is being repaired. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh you're surprised to see the pink camera. We're gonna have lunch at Porto's care of my mom she said she was gonna it's her treat today yes. thank you mom <laughs> and I'm starving <laughs> work this morning at 7 so I only had breakfast I'm really hungry I'm actually I'm hangry right now <laughs> I got the usual it's a tuna croissant with banana chips unsweetened iced tea my mom got a pastrami let me see yours mom a pastrami sandwich with banana chips and she has water. And there's my mom. <laughs> so I just tried a bite of my mom's pastrami sandwich and it's it's actually really good. Now I'm thinking I probably should have gotten that instead of the tuna but I like the tuna. My mom and I were in the parking garage uh, right across Ikea because that's where we're going next and I wanted to show you how pretty the lights are in this car. She noticed that right away when it turned on and it turned on automatically once it got dark which is pretty nice. My mom thinks I might end up falling while vlogging. We're going to Ikea. I don't need to buy anything. Me I don't need buy you a, a moss. Moss? To buy a moss for, for plants. Okay. Oh, I don't need to buy anything, but I just love going to Ikea just for like decor and room inspiration. Right? I know you guys are with me on that one. Who lo else loves Ikea? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I want to go where I want to go. <laughs> My mom just wants me to drop her off in, in the area where she wants to go and she doesn't want to walk around yeah, Ikea yeah. with me. Why not, mom? I thought we are having like quality time today. <laughs> One of my favorite places here in Ikea is uh, their lighting area. I just love looking at all, all of the lighting fixtures and getting some inspiration because lighting is everything. I didn't even do anything and it knew that I was at the back of the car so it opened the trunk which I think is pretty cool and let me see and the key by the way is in my purse so when I get to the car it already is no it's not unlocked I have to press it there we go check out our next stop which is Hobby Lobby this chair I found it's similar to like a ghost chair but the legs are wooden which I don't know kind of clashes with it in my opinion but it would have been cool if it didn't have the arms which I would have liked even better so my mom and I are leaving Hobby Lobby empty-handed we both didn't find anything <laughs> but that's okay at least we were able to walk around and exercise and exercise walk, work off the calories from 
Portos that we just ate. Next stop of the day is uh, Morphe Brushes and I am super excited to be here because I really wanted to order some stuff online but I just couldn't so <sighs> what is this? Okay, let's go. Super pretty. Oh my gosh, this is the one. 350. That is so pretty. It's <gasps> beautiful. So they even have some of the Gerard Cosmetics lippies here. It's it's about seven o'clock right now and my mom and I are going to eat at this one cafe place, huh? Oh, I guess we parked in the back. Um, we are going to this uh, little restaurant. It's called Janine's, which my mom my mom said that this place is good. She's eaten here before. Oh, look how pretty! <gasps> oh my gosh! Look how pretty the setup is. Even the chairs are so fancy. They're very nice. And let's see. Now you know I had to get a cappuccino, but I'm waiting until we get our food so I can post it on Instagram. Come on. Huh? Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, mom, what were you saying earlier? I was holding you hostage for eight hours. <laughs> My mom was in the, what false imprisonment for eight hours. It hasn't really been that long yes. since about. 11.30, right? 12, 12 o'clock, yeah. and it's now almost... What's, what time is it? About 7 hours and 25 minutes. <laughs> wow, look at the calamari. That looks bomb. And then here's our um, Caesar salad with grilled chicken. Look how fancy, it even has their name on the plate. Sorry, the cup looks kind of gruesome, but it says love has no rules. How cute! Janine's was really good. Even my mom said that that was probably one of the best calamari that she's ever eaten. And the sauce, which was like a yellow kind of a lemon butter type of sauce, it was delicious. It was really good. And I know the hubs and especially Darren, I know they're going to like it. We're here at Target at the Dollar Spot. And look what I found, these Firefly lights, which I have these, and I know Lexi, Alexis Hassan. Hi Lexi, if you're watching. I know she has these. These are actually the battery-operated ones. These are only three bucks, and I know how expensive these are. I believe the store is, is it Anthrop Anthropology. I know that they have these at Urban Outfitters. So, I don't know, hopefully these are good. We're gonna try them out later, but three bucks is a steal. Looks exactly like the one from Urban Outfitters for like about 20 or $24. This one has a plug. It's pretty much almost the exact same thing. It's pretty bright as well. And this, I believe, is, it says that this is seven feet long for $3. I mean, you cannot beat that. Happy Friday, so uh, I kind of wanted to just vent a little bit, but it's primarily also my fault. It's actually, it's all my fault. I went to Home Goods yesterday and I found this chair, which I thought would be perfect for my vanity table. I know I already have a white vanity chair, but um, I was actually going to give that one to my son Darren because um, he said it was really, really comfortable, especially for gaming because he likes to play video games. It was just perfect. It was white. It had like kind of like a quilted seat and even the part where you rest your back, it was a little bit quilted. It was just really, really pretty, very elegant looking. And the best part about it is that I could actually push the chair all the way in so that it would save some space. For some reason, I just didn't buy the chair. I wanted to ask my husband first because I was thinking, I'm like, he already got me a chair. You know, why am I going to go out and spend on another chair i put the chair on hold home goods has a policy they can only hold it for two hours and maximum would be like three hours so i went back to home goods at the time when i had put my chair on hold somebody had put the other chair on hold the other pair to it on hold the other chair had somebody's name on it and her name is wendy and i was like oh my god 
I should have just effing bought the chair. Spoke to the, one of the sales girls and she told me that I guess Wendy called and said that she would be back before nine o'clock to pick up the other pair and she, she's got both of them. I didn't even take a picture of it. Luckily I did check out the brand. I think it's called Tainoki. That's the thing about home goods. It's like when you see that item, you need to buy it or else you will just be thinking about it. And I don't know why I did that. I was just, I'm so upset at myself. I'm sorry, that was probably a really, really long rant, but it just upset me so much. I was so upset about it last night. I went to sleep early because I was just, I felt so terrible that I just didn't buy it. I put it on a brother like a pop. <laughs> a little maybe she might not look too bad, you know? <laughs> nice sweater. Thank you. <laughs> I am currently swatching some of these new shadows, shimmer shadows from City Color Cosmetics and they are gorgeous. I use the face right now because I have my dream dots on because I have some like some little friends who decided to kind of creep up on me. But remember how I was telling you guys I was venting about that um, chair that I didn't purchase at Home Goods. Well this was how upset I was. I basically called every single home goods an hour's radius from where I live and I found one and I drove out there after work and picked it up. Here is the chair. It has kind of like that quilted look to it and it has some black trimming as well as some uh, silver details and let me show you guys the bottom. So it also does have the swivel roller balls at the bottom, is that what it's called? But I think it's actually perfect. Let me show you guys how it looks. So it's actually perfect because it takes up less space than the other one. Sorry, everything's kind of messy, but that's how it looks. I love it. I'm really glad that this company, Tainoki, that they had this little tag, you know, with the Facebook and Instagram um, logos because I was able to look them up and I specifically remember the brand because I looked them up right away on Instagram. This chair was $69.99, which I think is, you know, it's not bad. It's not a bad price compared to when I was looking online on Amazon and also on overstock.com and I was just like basically googling it I was trying to find this chair the prices were ridiculous anywhere from about 140 up to like 200 plus which is like way too much I'm definitely not gonna spend that much for a chair it's about a little past five and we were supposed to have a family outing but Darren um, went to go hang out with his friend so Hubs and I are going to have a um, a much needed date night and this is going to kind of be like an old school date night so we are actually going to go watch a movie at a drive-in theater which we have never done that and I think if this was actually my idea because I just thought it would be cool to like go check out a drive-in theater you know like something really old school and fun and actually I brought our pillows and a blanket back there this is our first drive-in experience we had no idea where to go so I guess you get in line to pay and we got some food already got our tickets and it said to put it on radio station 90 point 90.1 and there's a screen up there okay, here's our food we got Yoshinoya yummy and of course we need to have some ginger bomb and we got some wings and that's the hubs food <laughs> Happy Sunday. I know I look pretty ratchet right now and I even have a dream dot right here on my blemish. But I've been wanting to go back to Target. I'm gonna go to the dollar spot. Um, excuse the face again because I am right in the middle of filming. I got my filming set up right here. And I'm also watching, currently watching the Twilight Saga. I believe this one is New Moon and they're having a they're actually having a marathon that's been running on FX on the channel FX so that's what I'm listening to while I'm filming added 
some more of those firefly lights. I'm just glad I'm filming because it's been a long minute since I have filmed a video. Just to let you guys know, I ended up not buying anything from Target. I saw a couple of items, but I wasn't really like into the, you know, I wasn't like, oh, you know, I really want to get it. So I didn't purchase anything. Um, I kind of just went there to get a birthday gift card for my coworker. I had on this really, really pretty vampy lipstick from ColourPop Cosmetics, but we're gonna go to church, so I'm not about to wear some like really vampy dark lipstick. This one from ColourPop is called Creature. It's kind of like the same color as my nail polish. I just finished filming my review and swatch video on these um, new shimmer shadows from City Color Cosmetics. So those two videos, the two videos I filmed today should be up sometime this week. Um, but I'm glad, you know, I was able to film some videos it felt really good but I did feel really rusty you know and the hubs was kind of making fun of me because yeah I felt really rusty I got to show you guys the new little lamp shade I don't even know if you guys can see it it just looks like a rice paper lamp but let me show you how it looks up close you guys see that it has all these little tiny holes all over the place and the cool thing about this if you look at it on the inside it's actually double lined so it kind of diffuses the light which is pretty cool can you guys see that so on the inside there's um another thin piece of rice paper i think it actually matches this lamp a little bit better because this one has like little holes and stuff i think that's how i'm gonna go ahead <laughs> what did i just say i think that's how i'm gonna go ahead and end this week's vlog i want to thank you guys so much for all of your support for watching the vlogs and it's been like such an amazing journey so far here on youtube and I'm really just thankful for you guys for all of your support and all of your kind words. I know I've been kind of MIA on YouTube for the past couple weeks, but thank you so much for sticking around and, you know, supporting my channel because it really, really does mean so much to me. And, um, and I'm just very grateful that um, you guys are just really supportive. So thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing week and we will see you guys next week.